This video will show you how to perform an expert search in WorldShare Record Manager for a bibliographic record in WorldCat. You can perform an expert search on one line in the basic or advanced search text box in Record Manager. You can search an unlimited number of indexes at the same time. You must use the index labels for all available indexes and qualifiers or limits. Boolean operators and, or, and not can be used. And is understood, meaning there's no need to include it between terms. To use OR or NOT, include the word OR or NOT in all caps between terms. While viewing the basic search area, if you hover over the question mark above the search text box with your mouse, you'll see a window pop up with some help on performing an expert search. There is also a link to searching WorldCat indexes, which we'll discuss in just a moment. For a word search, use the two-letter index label followed by a colon and then enter terms. You can enter multiple words in any order. For a phrase search, use the two-letter index label followed by an equal sign and then enter terms in order from left to right. Exclude initial articles but include all subfield data or use the asterisk to truncate. The XX on this slide here represents the two-letter index label. For example, TI colon is the title word index. These are some frequently used indexes and their index labels. For example, there is a title word index, TI colon, and a title phrase index, TI equals. There's a personal name word index, PN colon, and a personal name phrase index, PN equals, and so on. Qualifier indexes are used with other indexes to limit or refine a search. They would seldom be used alone. Here are some of the qualifier indexes. For material type, MT colon, to limit with a year, the index label YR colon is used. The language of the resource, LN colon. The language of cataloging would be LL colon. Cataloging source would be CS equals followed by the OCLC symbol of the library or institution that cataloged it. And this is also would be in the O40 subfield A of the bibliographic record. There is also a qualifier index for LC cooperative cataloging, and this is PC colon Y. And this would be looking for a PCC authentication code in field O42 of the bib record. Note that some of the index labels will differ for connection and world share. For example, the language of resource index label is LA colon for connection, but is LN colon for world share. And the corporate name index label is CN colon for connection, but is CO colon for world share. This is all documented in searching WorldCat indexes. To show you how this works in Record Manager, I'll do an expert search for this music score. But first, I want to take a quick look at searching WorldCat indexes, which provides comprehensive information about the indexes used to retrieve records from WorldCat. As I mentioned a moment ago, you can get to searching WorldCat indexes from the WorldShare interface if you hover over the question mark above the search box in the basic search area. You can also get to searching WorldCat indexes if you select Need Help and then click General Help, this will take you to the OCLC Support homepage. To get to searching WorldCat indexes, scroll down and then select Librarian's Toolbox. And then under Cross Product Guides, you'll see Searching WorldCat Indexes. Next, I'll select the section on Bibliographic Records. The section called Bibliographic Record Indexes is where you can find complete information on each search index, including fields and subfields searched, notes on usage, and example searches. I'll click the ellipsis here to show all of the links. So let's say I want to find out which fields and subfields are included in the title index. So I'll click Bibliographic Record Indexes, S to Z, and then I'll click the title index. And so I can see there is a title word index, TI colon. There's also a title phrase index, TI equals, and a title whole phrase index. Let's take a look at the title word index first. And here you can see the fields and subfields indexed 
do not just include the title field or 245 itself, but several other fields in which the title might appear, such as the 100 subfield T, 110 subfield T, and so on. Now let's look at the title phrase index, which is right below. The title phrase index includes fewer mark fields, and unlike the title word index, you would enter words in the title as they appear from left to right, omitting initial articles. Note also that the title and subtitle, 245 subfield A and B, are indexed together and separately. And if I scroll down, you'll see the title whole phrase index. This is only available as a browse in record manager. And so it can't be used in an expert search. Now I want to go back and look at the bib record fields and subfields. This section is useful if you want to find which index includes a specific mark field or subfield. So let's say you want to find out how to search medical subject headings, which you know appear in a 650 with a second indicator of two. So I'm going to click the ellipsis here first, and then I'm going to select the 6XX fields. And then I'm going to select the 648 to 650, and I'll scroll down. I found the 650 if second indicator is a 2. The index name is MESH for medical subject headings. And I can see there's a word HM index label for a word search for medical subject headings, and there is also a mesh phrase search using the index label HM followed by an equal sign. And finally, I want to look briefly at the section called material type, names, and codes. To limit an expert search by material type, use the index label MT colon followed by the material type code. Columns in the table show the values or criteria indexed based on either the leader 007, 008, and other criteria, or the 006 fields. So let's say I want to find the code to use for a musical score to limit my search by the material type. So I'll scroll down, and I can see musical scores, the code I would use would be SCO, so I would enter MT colon SCO. There is also a subformat for manuscript music and for published music. And you can see the manuscript music code would be MMU, and the published music code would be PMU. So now let's do an expert search for my item in Record Manager. I'll use the basic search area, and since I want to use the Boolean operator AND, I don't have to include that as it's understood to be AND by default. So I'll enter, first of all, the title, and I'm going to use the title phrase index, TI equals, and then I'm going to enter the title and the subtitle that I have, Messiah Sacred Oratorio. And then for the composer handle, I'm going to use the personal name word index, PN colon, and we'll enter handle. I also have the editor, and I want to use the same index, the personal name index. So I'm just going to enter best for the editor's name there on the same line. Next, I'm going to enter the publisher, and the publisher is Shermer. So PB colon, and then Shermer. Then I'll enter this series using the index label SE colon. And I've entered G. Shermer's Collection Oratorios Cantatas. And I'm going to use the language of cataloging limit, so LL colon followed by ENG for English. And then I'm going to limit by my material type. And so the index label is MT colon followed by the code SCO. And then I'll click on search. And my search has retrieved just two records. I can see the first one is a full level record. The second is a minimal level record. If I want, I can compare the two side by side. I'm going to copy the OCLC number for the second record using Control C on my keyboard. Then I'll click on the title for the first record to open it. 
I'm going to scroll down. This is the full level record. I can see it matches my item, the pagination, also the title, subtitle, and the statement of responsibility in the 245C. I'm going to go ahead and click on the record drop down now and select compare. And I'm going to paste in the OCLC number for the second record that I copied and now click on compare. And so I can compare them and make the choice of the most appropriate record for the item that I have. If you have questions, please visit help.oclc.org for documentation, training, and contact information for OCLC support in your region.